Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Um, I, uh, I'm going to be continuing on with the return of Yahusha. Um, I am very happy and excited that we have more of Brother Lou White's books to read. Um, I have, if I can see them, um, the dictionary one. Um, let me see. I think they're behind this picture right here. Yes, I have, um, uh, the Reapers, Truth or Tradition, Last Nazarene, Torah Zone, Tetragrammaton, um, Study of the Two House Restoration of Israel, and the BYNB Dictionary, and Tetragrammaton. Um, and I can't wait until I can start those with you guys. And Enemy Unmasked is by another author. I believe his name is Bill Hughes. But um, uh, that was available on Torazone.net as well. Um, what else is I going to say? Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, if anyone knows how to... Um, do this, please let me know. I got the stick on for um, my uh, the page tab for my scripture book, my BYMB, um, because I have a hard time. Oh, sorry, I have a hard time uh, getting um, a hard time getting a uh, getting to the right page when we are on uh, live with Brother Mark on Spark and Unity Job. Um, if anyone would like to do a subscription to my ministry, even five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five dollars a month, um, you can do that also with the donation link in the description box. Um, there is um, also one-time donations you can do, and if you would like, you can order seat seats. I um, I just had my husband bring down uh, two um, two sets for two separate people. Um, and, uh, if you want, I can customize them for you in the scriptures. Um, the word tekelet means violet and I can make uh, violet seat seats and I can make them any length you wish. Um, one person wanted them longer, one person wanted them shorter. I've never made any 48 inch ones before, but they came out like this long, but they were really pretty in the end. And I want to make a set for myself as well. Okay, sorry for the long introduction. Um, also, if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, and share down below. Um, okay. And I apologize for falling asleep during the live on um, Brother Mark's channel. Me and Bella were just listening to the um, to the study, and Bella gets really relaxed whenever she hears us. Here's the word of Yahuwah, and I was very tired because we were up late the night before, and... I didn't wake up until like 10 in the morning, but still I didn't get enough hours of sleep. And me and Bella ended up falling asleep during the study, and I feel so bad, and I really don't, I don't mean to fall asleep. I just get so tired. I stopped drinking coffee. I just drink tea now, and once in a while I'll put a little bit of my husband's coffee in. But anyways, I'm sorry for the long introduction. Let's begin. We are on faith in Yahusha and his relationship. The work given to his author is to help bring people of faith to the next level in their walk. And understand that having faith in Yahushua's atonement as well as faith in his relationship can bring them full realization and prepare them for their work in the harvest of mankind. The word, Devarim, he calls us back to the scriptures. He calls us back to in scripture is his covenant the 10 words of the Torah Exodus 20 Deuteronomy 5 and 6 which we must have written on our hearts and minds and teach others that's one of the most important things is to teach others Rosso Yahusha writes his Torah on our hearts so we love it 
This is the new covenant he promised to us at Jeremiah 31. And it is cited again at Hebrews chapters 8 and 10. Yahushua's religion is not Christianity, but rather it is his living word. The Torah involving the sign of the eternal covenant Sabbath and our circumcision of the heart is symbolized by our immersion. We must engraft into Israel, or Yashara, Romans 11, because there is no covenant with any people except Israel. We must restore truth and become Nazarene, followers of the high priest Yahusha of Nazareth. Yahusha was not, nor is now, a Catholic or a Christian in any remote way. Oh, you can lay down, babe. Kepha was not, or Kepha was not a Catholic, Pope, or Papa. If he or Shaul started another religion called Christianity, there is no record of this coming from Scripture. Such an idea is a fantasy and a human contrivance. It's a scheme and a plot to divert the behavior and revise history. Even the history books are, lie to us. The blindness must end. And the Torah and the Torahless one, the Torahless one, must be revealed. Dr. Henderson, who has given many lectures on the pain and suffering involved in the method of death by crucifixion or impalement, has given many people a clearer picture of the physical torment a victim had to endure. The cruelty of demonically controlled human beings is boundless. But he also realized there are, are there was another form of pain our creator had to endure for his great love for us. Quoted below. Sorry. Oh, okay. There we go. That's better. Quoted below. Dr. Henderson refers to another form of pain. The pain of having the sins of the world, of the whole world, put upon our Savior. This lingering debt was paid once for us all. No amount of scientific or historical understanding can measure the suffering of Yahusha on the stake. All my scientific and medical training is brought to nothing when I consider his suffering for me and the world. Even the imagination of so great a weight of suffering is beyond my power to endure. This quote is from Dr. Craig Henderson. Satan, a master deceiver, older than dirt. We should thank the retailers for bringing us together. And it shows Satan, or sorry, Satan Claus, Santa Claus walking with a witch. Hand, arm in arm. Sunday, Christmas, Halloween, and Easter are discussed more thoroughly in the book Fossilized Customs also by Brother Lou White, Fossilized Customs, way further back, um, if you just type in my channel name and Fossilized Customs, it should pop up and then you'll see a bunch of different titled ones that don't have Fossilized Customs in it after it, and all of those are different titles from the book Fossilized Customs, if you guys would like to check those out, they are on my channel still, um, I don't ever erase videos unless YouTube erases them for me or takes them off. Um, okay, prepare yourself for discovering some unsettling things about old traditions. In Hebrew, the letter Tau means mark or ta. People who cannot write, write, sign their name with it as an X. Names were used as seals. And this crux sign was the initial, the initial for the Babylonian Tammuz and the Norse deity Thor. Okay, next time we will be reading tithing. One tenth belongs to Yahuwah. And that one is a bit longer one, so that'll be a longer video. Um, I love Brother Lou's books. They always bring to light some new understanding 
that maybe someone else hasn't hasn't learned yet and sometimes even I haven't learned yet um because every time I draw so come here because every time I read a book with you guys it's the first time I've read it so um sometimes I get surprised that there was something in it that I didn't know okay give me one second and now is my favorite part it is time to praise you and um another thing is like this is my only job and um i i just work for the kingdom of yahua and yes i am going to school but that's really not working and um my husband he only door dashes maybe once every two weeks and he doesn't really make a lot from that so the donations do help with financial situations and stuff like that i do get assistance but um that doesn't get us very far because you know the price of living and the cost of living has gone up so high and it's even worse in new york um where we're having to spend like 200 extra dollars a month on food that we can't even afford okay so we are going to be doing my favorite part praising yahua now this is too bright in my face i apologize um okay so we are going to be singing um i took it i just took it off because i thought it was on too long oh yeah okay i'm going to sing you are loved or wait no sorry um i have to put ross's harness on real quick um I'll find the song and then I'll get back on here. Sorry, I apologize. Okay. This song is one of sis, uh, Sister Phyllis's favorites that I wrote. Um, I was singing it, uh, part of it one day. Um, I didn't have all the lyrics to it yet, but I, um, I wrote a different version of it before. But this one she really liked, so I ended up finishing it one day so that I could sing it on Brother Mark's channel on Sparky News, yeah. Okay, so it's called Yahuwah is with you. Yahuwah is with you. Yahuwah is for you. Yahuwah is always with you. When you have Yahuwah with you, you know he always has your back. And you never have to stress again. He pours his ruach hakodesh upon you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Yahuwah is with you. Yahuwah is for you. Yahuwah is greater than all of these things. If Allah is for you, then who can be against you? Yahuwah is our help when life seems so bleak. Just look to Yahuwah and just shine on. Hallelujah, Yahuwah, all praise and, and esteem to the Most High Abba Yahuwah. And I wanted to also sing Brother Bobby's praise song. He didn't. He only sang a short part of it. Um, and like I, I commented back to him that one of the songs that the Ruach gave me sounded somewhat close to what he wrote, and um, I put it in his comments. And uh, I think he was pretty happy that um, there was a uh, confirmation there. A confirmation from the Most High. No matter, no matter what they say or do to you, keep praising Yah. No matter, no matter, no matter what they say or do to you, just keep praising Yah. 
We love you all with an everlasting love, as our Abi Yahuwah and the Shamayim loved each and every one of us. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah.